Welcome back to the TLS animator tutorial, or better one more tutorial. First create a prim like ever, duplicate it to create an object you like to animate. For me I use four cubes, link them together, and now I have a linked object. Make sure it's all okay. Select the root prim, insert the control script into the content. And now I will insert all possible scripts so that I can change all color, flexibility, texture and so on. This is the most powerful thing you can do to give the Supreme all rights to edit. I think it's not always possible or you need to do this. Normally the scripts 1 of 2 and 3 of 2, 2 of 2 are enough. So uh, this is only for viewing. Okay, now we can start. I go into the record mode. You see I typed for the moment uh, backslash 22 record and then you can use it instead of pushing the record button. Now again to get the first frame, uh, change the color of the single preems to give it you the ability uh, to see different parts. I'll make one red, green and so you also see the color changing part. Okay, for the last one we select yellow or better eye. To, um, then we have two uh, three different colors, so everyone can see it without any problems. Okay, let's start to animate. You see, I always use the type 22 uh, record function in the chat to create a new frame. It's more faster, and so I don't need to deselect my um, object itself and can hold the current linked object. Now I resize, bring it in position and I also like to show you how to change the shape options. For example now I enter a whole, uh, whole size. You see it now, I rotate it to show it a little bit better. But at the moment I have not created a new frame, so this is not a current animation. This means uh, the animation will start when I took the next frame and will rotate to the, to the state I have at the moment. We will see it later in the final animation. I don't like to create an, a nice looking animation here. I need to, uh, to show you the function and the ability you can use with it. Okay, that's it. I have created this one. I insert a hole, and now I also like to show you uh, some lightning parts. So I move the green into uh, the one object and uh, turn on the light. You see here, selecting now. Okay, and you see now it's lightened. I will do the same for the red one, but here I take a red color. Okay, and that's it for the moment. I think this would one is the next frame. Type 22 record, enter. Now we have five frames at the moment. I move this insert uh, inside the one box and this also. So we have a nice effect or a little bit of an effect to show you what can do. Okay, that's it. Frame 6 is created. Okay, I changed uh, from cube to ball for the green one, and now I also move the green one into the red one. It's only a little play. I will create a snapshot here. A new record, 22 record, enter. Move the green ball outside, and now I like to show you how to change the thing. I turn off the light. and use a sculpted. Now I change it, select another texture. You don't need to uh, insert the sculpt texture into the object, it will be stored. So you don't need to publish anything you have. So I resize it again and now I will change some texture things. I think it will be better and changing the green color also to a normal white.
Ah, here's some text tours from Tori to show you this one. So you, all of you can get these text tours also at her place. Now you see it here. It's a little bit textured. Okay, let's create a frame. And now we have the frame of the sculpt object. So, okay, moving out the light. I think I resize it a little bit. It's a little bit big or not. Okay, that's it. I think it's time for a new frame. Now we have nine frames only as information. And if it's not so good to see for you. You all see the data also on the HUD interface. There is an interface of the current animation you added. You can have more animations in one uh, yeah, in one object. So you can, for example, move one arm or one hand only, and uh, doing this the next arm in the next animation, and so you can play them uh, different from each other. I also play a little bit around them with this, bring them back to another form and. so that we can have a look later yeah. I also like to show you how I can change the shape by uh, rotating it or uh, also cutting it's all possible, you can do all things nearly all Next frame. Okay, I think stop it. I think let us play the animation. And now you will see what will happen. Inserting the lights. Outcoming of the red. Changing the shape. Going back, going to this. Move out, rotate, insert the lights. You see how powerful it is. You can do many things. I'm only a script, I'm not a real animator or builder, so I think you can have uh, more things and have really more, much more ideas than myself. Imagine it, have fun, look at it, try it out, and if you find something you'd like to have, ask me. I could insert it. Bye.